first of all, I want to uh, say that I, I am happy to hear in, in Dr. Neal's and uh, other members of the panel's testimony a, a somewhat of a measure of sensitivity to the relationship between a very high-tech, very emerging industry and uh, what can be the deadening hand of government regulation. We can protect ourselves uh, from uh, success if we're not, not careful. And, and yet, at the other hand, we do have some obligation to make sure that things are being done responsibly and, and risks are taken. I was sensitized to that myself at the EAA several years ago when I was invited to have lunch with a giant in this field, Pete Rutan, who was pleading with the FAA to classify Spaceship One as a spaceship, not as an airplane, because if it had to go through certification uh, for airplanes, it would have, he thought, had a very uh, adverse effect on uh, his uh, uh, long-term success. He's developed cutting-edge planes for the intelligence industry and defense industry for a generation and very successfully. But he said this mentality of his team is to continually challenge the design and look for further ways to improve it. And if they suddenly had to switch to defending the design, uh, that would have a, a psychologically deadening effect on innovation and, and, uh, and, and he thought on safety, actually. And he's had a very wonderful safety record given what he's been attempting to do over the years. So this is an interesting balance and I'm happy that, to hear that you're sensitive to, to that. Uh, I maybe uh, one uh, question for uh, Mr. Testweed. Uh, working in a in a midwestern community on this whole cutting edge industry, what's really in it at the end of the day for a local community or state that participates in this program? Uh, could you discuss why people should be? Uh, interested in and trying to, to participate in this whole effort? Thank you, Mr. Petrie. Um, yes, I think for a small town like Sheboygan, Wisconsin, in a state that's not typically thought of as a cutting edge technology state, I would have exception to that, but I don't think in the general nation, you know, people get much beyond bratwurst and cheese. Um, I would say that there are lots of things that it brings, including, as I mentioned before, the awe of space travel to the Midwest and to a local region. But the industrial impact of having regular space flights just for tourism, then possibly a Midwest point-to-point -point hub, um, have long-term financial ramifications for the region. And I think that would be very, very good economically long-term. In the short term, I think you get back to the psychological realization that we are on the cutting edge that if you come from Wisconsin, you can go to Madison and get some very fancy engineering experience if you choose to. You'll be with, unfortunately right now, an awful lot of foreigners, but I'd love to see a lot more badgers there becoming engineers and going to work for Mr. Geeson and for the FAA and developing this area in the future. So I think, I think there's a great opportunity and a missed opportunity by most of rural America um, in the, or Central America, I should say, in the space world. And we've recognized it because we have that asset out in Lake Michigan um, that is clearly a low population density area, a couple fishermen, and uh, it's restricted and it's been used. So we intend to capitalize on that asset and see if we can move forward with this prospect. Uh, you mentioned cheese and bratwurst and probably beer would be appropriate as well. I think so. Although it's not as much as before. But I think people aren't aware our biggest employer, or at least for many years, has been General Electric. And part of that is making missile guidance systems. And uh, we do a tremendous, have a tremendous industrial infrastructure for everything from laddish making the big castings that are vital for the air, air, airplane industry to many of the key components that support our Navy uh, uh, around the world, the subcontractors are very intense in our, in our region. So uh, we, we have nothing to, be, to apologize for in, in 
terms of contributing to the space effort in our, our part of the world. Thank you very much.